we're almost at the end of the chapter about risk management. The last part to discuss are the possible risk responses. There are typical responses for threats, for opportunities and for both. Let's have a look what they are. Responses for threats are risk avoidance, risk transfer and risk mitigation. Avoid, we make sure that the risk cannot happen. We remove the element that can cause the risk. Risk transfer, we transfer the work related to the risk or the risky activity to an organization that is specialized in this work or we can take an insurance that will compensate for the losses in case the risk event occurs. Risk mitigation is a method to reduce the impact. For example, when you wear seat belts in a car, the probability of occurrence is not changed, only the impact. For opportunities, what can we do with opportunities? We can exploit them, we can share them, and we can enhance them. Exploit relates to increasing the probability. We can add more people to the activity. So the probability increases that we are successful. We can share. We can share the work with somebody who's more specialized in this type of work or activity and the results are shared. In military quarters I was working in, in Belgium, there was a central heating system and there was a company that was maintaining it and it was a share contract. The company was given a certain amount to manage but also was given a share of the savings when they were saving fuel, when they were saving energy. They could invest in the different buildings, in the different systems, and all savings that were realized were split 50-50 between the company and the Ministry of Defense. It was a very interesting system but it was not really much liked by the authorities because they would have liked the entire 100%. Enhance opportunities relates to increased probability and or the impact. Here we focus on the causes of the opportunity and address these causes. When we know the causes of the opportunity, we can find ways to enhance the opportunity. The last point relates to risk responses for threats and opportunities. These are escalate or accept. Escalate opportunities or threats relates to opportunities or threats that are outside of the scope of the project and that they are not in the authority or within the authority of the project manager. Once you identify this type of opportunities or threats, you have to pass them on to the sponsor, to the program manager, to the client, to other people in the organization so that they can take care of these opportunities and threats. When you have escalated them, you don't have to take them into account anymore. Escalate is a new response. It was added to the Pinbox 6. It's not part of the responsibility in the project of the project manager. Nevertheless, it's advised to write down that you escalated these risks in the risk register.
the last response is to accept the risk happens well it happens it doesn't happen we just accept what can happen we don't do anything to avoid or to enhance the risk there is no proactive action taken and of course we accept the risk and also its consequences we finished almost the risk management chapter we just have to recap in the next session and then we are ready for the next section which is about project execution monitor and control you did a great job see you at the next section